Okay guys, I'm very excited because I found out about a new plugin that allows you to bring Figma designs into Webflow with just a few clicks. And the amazing thing about this is that this plugin was made by the Webflow official team. How cool is that? So in this video, I'm going to dive straight into this plugin, discover this plugin for the first time alongside with you. So I'm going to cover everything about this plugin and we are going to see together if this plugin works or not and how good it is, how bad it is and discover if this plugin is good enough to bring Figma designs into Webflow without any effort. Let's see if that works and if this amazing plugin works, it will be mind blowing guys. So that's why I'm so excited about being recording this video for you guys. And by the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Kyle. Hi, nice to meet you. You. I'm the chief no code officer here at We Are No Code. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. Now, let's jump into my computer screen where I will show everything about this new Figma 2 Webflow plugin. Okay, guys, so this is the actual official Figma plugin website. It's inside Figma community. So if you're a Figma user, you might be already familiar with this screen and you know how it works. You just click here to test the plugin to kind of install the plugin inside your Figma account. If you don't have a Figma account or if you've never used Figma before, you just go to figma.com and then you sign up for a free account. By the way, if you don't know what Figma is, Figma is a design tool. So basically you use Figma to design websites, layouts, mockups, prototypes. So basically it is where your design is born and is the main tool that most of UX and UI designers out there use on a daily basis. Okay. So here is the website. Of course, the link will be down below in the video description section. So we are here on the page Figma to Webflow is the name of this plugin. It claims that it will create a HTML, CSS and website for you from the Figma file. It is built by the Webflow Labs and that's a curious thing that I didn't know about. So I clicked here to check more information about what is Webflow Labs. So that was a first for me because I didn't know about Webflow Labs and it seems they have now a innovation lab inside Webflow and they might be creating a lot of great stuff for us like for for example, these new plugins. If you want to know more about the Webflow Labs, there's a link down below for you to check the full article. Okay, so what can you do with this Figma 2 Webflow plugin? To be honest, this is not the first time that I see a Figma 2 Webflow plugin or a Figma 2 HTML or CSS plugin on the community, but I want to see if this is different from the other ones. Because to be honest, I've seen other plugins try to attempt to do the same thing, but it wasn't exactly the way I was expecting. The outcome was not perfect or not ideal geo yet. So let's see if this is going to be different this time. So as you can see here, there is a bit of information on how to use this plugin. So first you install, connect your Webflow account, then you authorize access. So Figma and Webflow can communicate. Then you copy and paste designs into your auto layout Figma designs, and then you can even adjust HTML tags and etc. Maybe there is going to be some sort of tags that you have to use. So then the plugin can understand what you mean with your design so then it can be converted to Webflow. Then you polish and publish. So then you have a Figma design that was born in Figma design published to Webflow, which is amazing. And as you can export code from Webflow, you could download the HTML and CSS if you wish to, then it's going to serve this purpose as well. If you don't want to actually use Webflow, but you want to use only the plugin to bring it to Webflow and then convert it into HTML and CSS and download the HTML and CSS and host it somewhere else. Okay, so what is supported? Auto layout, typography styles, border styles, shadow styles, background images and linear gradients, vector and shape conversions to SVGs. How cool is that? Um, images, opacity, absolute position, some tips on how to properly set up the file. So I imagine you would have to like build and construct your designs inside Figma following uh, some specific guidelines to make sure everything is compatible when the conversion happens. But that's already kind of expected. I've seen that in other plugins as well. So, well, let's see if that really works. So let's go now. The tutorial starts now. First thing you're going to do is click the link down below. Go to this website here or search on the Figma community for Figma to Webflow, HTML, CSS and website and check if this plugin is from Webflow Labs. Then you have to click here, try it out. It will open a new empty Figma document, a draft document. And then you're going to see 
here a window saying the name of the plugin, the information we saw before, click run and then this plugin will open. By the way, once you do that, you can also open existing files that you might have inside your Figma account and then you open this plugin the same way and then you run this plugin on top of existing projects. Of course, if you start from an existing project, a pre-made design that you already have, maybe you have to do some adaptations to the design and also understand how it works exactly so your design is compatible with this plugin. Now, they have some recommendations here. So for example, you place tags to say this is a link, this is the H1, this is the paragraph, the P, the H1, the header. Uh, so then in Figma, you label your design components to then convert this into a Webflow live build. Okay, next. So information about the templates. Okay, let's see how that works, the responsive side of it. And then you connect your Webflow account and then choose your Webflow site's workspace. If you don't have a Webflow account, you can also create one for free. Accept the terms and connect account. Let's do that. So I'm inside Webflow login. I'm going to choose one of my existing accounts here to login. Then I'm going to login. Then it's going to ask me to authorize. Okay, so now it's time to connect your account. We are going to select the workspace and then it will select the projects or you can select just one specific project. You want to allow this integration. I'm going to select everything here. So then if I create new projects here in the future, it will be already connected. So I'm going to authorize the app and then it will say that the connection was successfully made. Now you can just close this tab and go back to the previous Figma tab and then you're going to see that the account was successfully linked. Let's start and then it will open the app. So now as we can see, we have here a library of pre-made components that we can use and that's really good because that means you don't have to build all the designs from scratch if you don't want to because they provide you a library of pre-made designs here that you can use. Of course, that's to make everything easier and I believe this library of components here matches exactly with the pre-made components that are already available inside Webflow itself. So let's see how they connect and how they behave. We have here a tab with some structures. So if I don't want to use the layouts, I can just start from scratch with basic structures. So we have like the section, we have two columns, three columns, four columns and much more here. So that's really cool. Well thought because we have foundation components to help us get started. Or we can also select a auto layout frame to copy. Mm, that's interesting. Let's see how that works in a minute. So let's start from scratch here. Let's pick a nav logo. So we have just to click here to add to canvas. As we can see, we don't have anything yet inside this Figma file. So I'm going to click and see how that works. Okay. So we have a navigation menu here. How cool is that guys? Very awesome. So I don't have to even create the whole structure. They will give me the whole nav bar structure ready for me to go. And as I click here, it will recognize this component and then it will say copy to Webflow. First, choose a Webflow site above. So basically, I need to select a project that I have. In my case, I have like this two projects here. I could go inside my Webflow account and create a new project just for that as well. And then here we can see the nav bar container. So all labeled, all organized. As we can see, it is using auto layout feature. So it seems that if you build a component that uses auto layout, then it will recognize. Let's see what else we can add here. We're going to add a hero section. And as I was selecting this previous component, it didn't go that well because it puts the component inside another component. So I'm going to click away and then click again and then it will paste it here. So I just have to rearrange this. Of course, I can create a frame to wrap all this, these sections here as well and then make everything one single kind of frame and then have everything auto layout plugged and connected if I wish to. But for now, let's keep this that way and see what else we can add here. We can go ahead and add another section here. And as we can see, we can build a landing page in no time with pre-made components like that. How cool is that? It is very cool. I'm enjoying this a lot. Now, I want to see how this will convert, but I'm sure it's going to work because otherwise they wouldn't release such a plugin. But I'm still curious to see how everything works when I try to bring these designs to the actual Webflow project. Let's see. Let's see. Let's add a footer here so we can finish this page structure. And we have here a 
landing page that took me how long <laughs> a few minutes and i was even teaching you guys how this works so if i was going to do this without recording a video that would be way faster so now i'm curious to know is it gonna be component by component or everything together it seems it is component by component but maybe if we wrap everything in a single auto layout component maybe we can export more than one component okay so let's go and try to export this to my existing project here and see how that goes okay guys so i'm gonna go inside my webflow account i'm gonna create a new project from scratch so we can test this so i'm gonna click here new site and then i'm gonna select the blank site here okay we are no code figma plugin is the name of my project let's go ahead and create this project as we can see this is a empty project and here as we can see inside layouts we have the starter library so what i'm thinking is maybe this has relationship with the plugin as we can see the design of this navbar is pretty much the same here right so I'm guessing there will be a connection between those two things now because i created a new project i might have to resync this project and do the authentication process one more time so if that's your case just make sure you do that as well so i'm gonna select the we are no code figma plugin project click copy to webflow it's preparing assets okay copy it to clipboard now all i have to do is to go to my webflow project and paste this inside here command v will paste and boom paste work and we have our navbar logo left here all the structure is is here as we can see very nice very cool working component inside our webflow even clickable that's awesome guys now let's go back to figma and select another component copy to webflow then go to our project and paste it and boom again the component is here we are no code yeah it's working guys so as we can see it is a full component even responsive component as we can see the menu also also works so like that's crazy that's mind-blowing and that's a very awesome plugin so all you have to do now is to learn how to structure your designs how the tags work specifically I'm sure there is a documentation that you can go and read more information for example as we can see here there are some titles that have the h1 tag so they are recognized as actual h1s or otherwise they might not be so as we can see here in side we have a h1 a paragraph following exactly this information here the h1 and the p information here as we saw before in the documentation so as long as we name everything correctly and use auto layout and make sure we structure this component in a way that webflow can understand i think it will be possible to create design files that are understood by webflow and then you can just come here copy and paste that's really nice guys and I think maybe this is just the beginning of this plugin maybe it will be even better later and we will allow you to use more features that are compatible with the webflow features it is important to remember that this is a translation happening from one tool to another so as Figma doesn't have specifically the same specific features that webflow has it will not be a perfect 100% translation but it is a good start because you can design your layouts here you can design the foundation of your website site here and then you migrate this to webflow and then inside webflow you add animation you add other features so the idea of even wireframing here and then going to webflow adding the actual images the animations the styles is amazing so you could have like a base wireframe design system for example and then bring that to webflow in just a few steps so that's really amazing and it will save you a bunch of time if you want to get started into the no code space and wants to join this no code revolution we have a amazing community of founders entrepreneurs and no coders join together in one unique environment where you can learn entrepreneurship and also no code this place is called we are no code academy this is our academy for global founders it's a community plus courses plus discounts information about no code tools so it's the perfect environment for you to get started and learn no 
local tools, entrepreneurship, and also network with people all around the globe. You don't want to miss this opportunity to join the We Are No Code Academy today. So go here down below and click the link to know more information about it. See you inside the We Are No Code Academy. So yeah, guys, another plugin that will help us build faster using no code tools. And I'm really happy with the results. What did you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you liked this information, if you like to know about this plugin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the video and share this with a friend that will like to know about this plugin as well. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to watch all the other videos we have inside the We Are No Code channel as well. And I catch you on the next one. Let's no code.